The super typhoon Man Yi has uprooted trees, brought down power lines and ripped off iron roofing as it swept across the storm weary Philippines. Mandi picking maximum sustained winds of 185 kilometers per hour made landfall on nightly populated island. More than 650,000 people fled their homes ahead of the storm. As the National Weather Service warned of a potentially catastrophic and life-threatening impact from the storm. Uh, mamaya po kasi na mga 12 a.m. na maaga, ma high tide po sa may sa amo din 2.0. I-plus mo pa po ang uran, medyo mahataas pa siya kaya sa 2.0. Plus ang typhoon po niya, may signal number 5, super typhoon. Kaya po kami nag i with Kaya ang balay namun, gilid po sin dagat. Now, according to the Katadunas, Provincial Disaster Operations Chief, there has been no reports of casualties as people followed the evacuation orders properly. The chief added that cleanup efforts on the island is underway. Furthermore, Mangi is expected to slightly weaken to a typhoon before hitting Luzon today. Now, Luzon is the country's most populous island and economic engine on its Current trajectory, Mangi will cross north of Manila and sweep over the South China Sea on Monday. Namani is the sixth storm in the past month to batter the archipelago nation. At least 163 people died in the previous storms that also left thousands homeless and wiped out crops and livestock. Climate change is increasing the intensity of storms leading to heavier rains, flash floods and stronger gusts. About 20 big storms and typhoons hit the Southeast Asian nation or its surrounding waters each year, killing scores of people. But it is rare for multiple such weather events to take place in a small window. Now, satellite images starting from November 3rd show Typhoon Yinching, Typhoon Toraji and Typhoon Usagi cutting through the country with Typhoon Manji en route. Now, earlier in October, tropical storm Trami and Typhoon Kongri brought heavy flooding, triggered landslides, and killed about 162 people.